<sighs> Man, is it cold out there? I know. My ears are still frozen. What you need is a pair of genuine yak wool earmuffs. Where would I get those? From a Tibetan pen pal. If you are lucky enough to have one, my friend Tenzin just sent me this. It's the warmest thing I've ever worn. It's so soft, too. Wow, what is that you're wearing? My new sweater. And it's made from a yak. You mean yaks? They must have used a couple of them. It's pretty big on you. Hey, you know what? It kind of makes you look like a big sheepdog. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, but you still need a tail. All right, so I look like a sheepdog, but at least I'm a warm and cozy sheepdog. <laughs> Arthur saw that Sue Ellen had forgotten her backpack. He picked it up. Hey, you left your backpack behind. Bad dog. <laughs> Good one. Is Arthur laughing with Sue Ellen or at Sue Ellen? How do you know? Was Sue Ellen upset? How do you know? Did Buster like the jokes? How do you know? Let's see what they're really thinking. Click on Arthur, Sue Ellen, and Buster. Everybody thinks I'm hysterical. This is great. <laughs> it's pretty funny, I guess. But that's enough now. Arthur cracks me up. Now that we know what they're thinking, will Arthur keep making dog jokes? Why do you think that? Let's see what happens next. Hey, over here! Come here, girl, over here! Sue Ellen realized that Arthur was still making those dog jokes. Who's a good sheep doggy? You're a good sheep doggy. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, you can stop now. This dog might just get angry and bite you. Oh, you wouldn't do that. Sheep dogs have a very gentle nature. You know, I thought I would never say this, but I actually think you look tray chic. Really? Uh huh. I saw Capri Devapita wearing something just like that at a fashion show. Are you sure it was a fashion show and not a? Dog show? <laughs> This time, Arthur's friends didn't laugh. Okay, okay, I'll stop. I don't know why. It just cracks me up. Here, why don't you have my biscuit? <laughs> <sighs> why does Arthur keep making dog jokes? How do you know? How does Sue Ellen feel about the jokes? How do you know? How does Buster feel about the jokes now? How do you know? Let's see what they're really thinking. Click on Arthur, Sue Ellen, and Buster. Usually Buster makes people laugh, but today people are laughing at my jokes. Arthur is making me feel bad. Doesn't he know that? It was funny at first, but now maybe Arthur should stop. Now that we know what they're thinking, what would you tell Arthur to do? Why? Let's see what happens next. The next day was also cold. Sue Ellen wore her sweater again. <gasps> Sue Ellen found something on her locker. Happy Sheepdog Appreciation Day! Did you do this? Um. Well, it was just a joke. Well, I don't think it's funny. Sue Ellen turned around and left. <laughs> Why did Arthur make that picture? How do you know? How did Sue Ellen feel when she found the picture? How do you know? What will Buster think about the picture? How do you know? Let's see what they're really thinking. Click on Arthur, Sue Ellen, and Buster. What's the big deal? Can't Sue Ellen tell I'm just joking? I am so angry with Arthur right now. Sue Ellen is upset. Should I tell Arthur to stop or just not get involved? Now that we know what they're thinking, what could Sue Ellen do to stop Arthur's teasing? Why might that work?
Let's see what happens next. And that, in short, is how iron ore is smelted. Class was over, so everyone got up to leave. Arthur, would you stay behind, please? A bully? Me? I didn't bully Sue Ellen. I was surprised too, Arthur. It doesn't seem like you. But when you continue to tease someone, even after they've asked you to stop, that's bullying. But, but it was just a joke. Maybe to you. But imagine if someone made you feel bad for what you wore. We have no tolerance for that kind of behavior here. You must treat everyone with respect. Fine. I promise not to do it again. I'm glad to hear that. Arthur, we're not quite finished yet. I have to write Sue Ellen a letter apologizing for what I did. By tomorrow! And we have that history test. Oh, I'll probably fail. I think she should be the one apologizing to me. How do you figure that? She didn't have to go to Mr. Rapburn. She could have just told me to stop. She did tell you to stop. I was there. Well, okay, but I didn't think she meant it. Come on, she was being oversensitive, right? I don't know. Sue Ellen's never seemed oversensitive to me. I'm the oversensitive one. No, you're not. You're just the weird one. <gasps> you take that back! Okay, okay, I'm sorry. See? Saying you're sorry isn't that hard. You'll be finished with that letter in no time. Later that night, Arthur was in his bedroom. Dear Sue Ellen, I'm sorry I upset you. I didn't mean to. It was really just a joke. I thought you could take a joke, but I guess I was wrong. I've been teased before about wearing glasses, but I never felt I had to tell the teacher about it and get someone else in trouble. Maybe you're just overreacting? It goes on like that for the whole page. What are you going to do? I don't know. Well, until he gives you a real apology, I'm not speaking to him. Me too. Why do you think Arthur wrote his letter like that? How do you know? How did Sue Ellen feel when she read the letter? How do you know? Will Buster like Arthur's apology letter? How do you know? Let's see what they're really thinking. Click on Arthur, Sue Ellen, and Buster. I wrote a letter just like Mr. Rapperin told me to. Everyone should be happy now. Arthur isn't stopping. I don't know what to do. Arthur's letter was not an apology. I have to let Arthur know I'm mad at him. Now that we know what they're thinking, is there anything you could tell Buster to do? Why? Let's see what happens next. Hey, guys! Buster didn't say anything. How about that history test? Pretty hard, right? As a matter of fact, no one said anything. What's going on? We're not speaking to you. That's what's going on. Buster, you just ruined it. I did? Aw. Why aren't you speaking to me? I tell you, but I'm not speaking. Come on, Francine. Let's sit at a table that doesn't have any bullies at it. I'm not a bully. I don't get it. What did I do wrong? Buster wrote his answer on a pad of paper. Your letter to Sue Ellen. What about it? It was terrible. It's like you weren't sorry at all. That's why I'm not speaking to you, which I'm clearly not very good at. Arthur didn't know what to say. After school, Arthur looked for Sue Ellen. Sue Ellen, wait up! Sue Ellen heard Arthur calling. She turned around and waited for him to catch up. Look, I'm really sorry, okay? I never meant to hurt your feelings. Can we please just forget it and be friends? Do you still think I overreacted? Um, well... <sighs> Arthur was speechless. Let's explore some story endings. Which character do you want to follow? You can come back later and try the other characters, too. Choose what Arthur could do next. Keep making dog jokes about Sue Ellen, or stop making dog jokes, or stop making dog jokes and tell Sue Ellen he's sorry. Okay, thought Arthur, if Sue Ellen won't accept my apology, 
I'll keep making jokes. So Arthur copied a picture of a sheepdog's head and put it on Sue Ellen. Arthur sent the picture in an email to Sue Ellen. When she saw the email, she got very upset. She felt like Arthur was never going to stop. The next day, Muffy and Francine told Arthur that Sue Ellen was leaving Mr. Ratburn's class just to get away from him. Arthur felt bad, but why couldn't she just take a joke? Arthur's friendship with Sue Ellen was never the same after that, and Arthur's friends were angry with him for a long, long time. Do you like what Arthur did in this ending? Why? Let's see what else Arthur could do. Choose what Arthur could do next. Arthur stopped making dog jokes, but refused to tell Sue Ellen he was sorry. Muffy and Francine told him they wouldn't talk to him until he apologized to her. Arthur called Buster on the phone, but Buster wouldn't talk to him either. Fine, thought Arthur. If my friends won't talk to me, that's their problem. I still think Sue Ellen is overreacting. Arthur didn't see his friends for a while. The next time they got together, everybody was worried that Arthur would tease Sue Ellen again. Do you like what Arthur did in this ending? Why? Let's see what else Arthur could do. Choose what Arthur could do next. Arthur thought about it. He remembered calling Sue Ellen a good sheep doggy. He remembered saying her sweater belonged in a dog show, and he remembered Sue Ellen looking upset when he said it was just a joke. He decided to give her a real apology. The next day, Arthur saw Sue Ellen's sweater in the donation bin. Arthur felt terrible. Sue Ellen loved that sweater so much. He decided to wear it when he apologized to her. Arthur told Sue Ellen he was really sorry. He understood that he had hurt her feelings. It was all his fault. She was not overreacting. Sue Ellen accepted Arthur's apology, and the two of them were friends again. The end. Do you like what Arthur did in this ending? Why? Which ending did you like best? Why? Let's see what the other characters could do. Let's explore some story endings. Choose what Sue Ellen could do next. Do nothing. Maybe Arthur will just come to his senses and stop, or tease Arthur back, or tell her mom and dad what's going on. Later that day, Sue Ellen told her mom and dad about what was going on with Arthur, and her mom gave Mrs. Reed a call. After the call, Arthur's mom had a long talk with him. She reminded him about times he had been teased in the past and how that had made him feel. For the first time. Arthur understood how much he had hurt Sue Ellen, and he wrote her an email. Unlike the letter, this note was a real heartfelt apology. The next day, he ran into Sue Ellen on the way to school. At first, he was nervous that she might still be angry at him, but when he saw her smile, he knew that everything would be just fine. Sue Ellen said it was one of the nicest notes she'd ever received. The end. Do you like what Sue Ellen did in this ending? Why? Let's see what else Sue Ellen could do. Choose what Sue Ellen could do next. Even though Sue Ellen felt hurt, she decided to do nothing and just wait for Arthur to stop teasing her. The next day, Sue Ellen received an email from Arthur. It was a picture of her with a sheepdog's head. What if Arthur never stopped teasing her? She decided to tell Mr. Rapburn that she wanted to change classes. When Arthur found out, he was shocked. He had no idea how much he had hurt Sue Ellen's feelings. Arthur's friends were really upset with him too. Finally, Arthur gave her a real heartfelt apology. Sue Ellen forgave him, but it took a long time for them to be good friends again. The end. Do you like what Sue Ellen did in this ending? Why? Let's see what else Sue Ellen could do. Choose what Sue Ellen could do next. Sue Ellen decided that the only way to get Arthur to stop bullying her was to tease him back. The next day, when Arthur made fun of Sue Ellen's sweater again, she made fun of his glasses. Arthur thought this was unfair. After all, he didn't think he was being mean, just funny. So Arthur found other things to tease Sue Ellen about, and Sue Ellen found other things to tease Arthur about. Some of their friends sided with Sue Ellen. And some of them sided with Arthur. It split up the whole group, and no one was happy.
Do you like what Sue Ellen did in this ending? Why? Which ending did you like best? Why? Let's see what the other characters could do. Let's explore some story endings. Choose what Buster could do next. Buster kept giving Arthur the silent treatment. No matter what Arthur said, Buster wouldn't talk to him. Arthur kept making fun of Sue Ellen's sweater. He even emailed her a picture he made of Sue Ellen with a sheepdog's head. Sue Ellen was really upset. She asked to leave Mr. Ratburn's class just to get away from Arthur. Buster's silent treatment hadn't worked, and now he was even more angry at Arthur. Do you like what Buster did in this ending? Why? Let's see what else Buster could do. Choose what Buster could do next. Buster told Arthur that Sue Ellen's feelings were really hurt. Buster also reminded Arthur that other kids used to make fun of his glasses. Arthur thought about it. Buster was right. Other kids did used to make fun of him, and it really hurt his feelings. He realized he needed to give Sue Ellen a real apology. The next day, when Arthur saw Sue Ellen, he said, I'm sorry I made fun of your sweater. It was pretty mean, and I should have stopped making jokes when you told me to. Sue Ellen accepted Arthur's apology. Buster was happy. His friends were friends again. The end. Do you like what Buster did in this ending? Why? Let's see what else Buster could do. Choose what Buster could do next. Arthur is usually nice, Buster said to Sue Ellen. But right now, he's being mean. I want you to know that Muffy, Francine, and I are not going to laugh at Arthur's jokes anymore. Later that day, Arthur made more dog jokes. Sue Ellen and her friends all listened, but no one laughed. Soon, Arthur stopped. The next week, there were no more dog jokes. Sue Ellen was happy, but she was still worried that Arthur might start again. She and Arthur weren't as close friends as they were before, and that made Buster sad. The end. Do you like what Buster did in this ending? Why? Which ending did you like best? Why? Let's see what the other characters could do. Let's explore some story endings. Which character do you want to follow? You can come back later and try the other characters too.